Huh? Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Shrek games for the Nintendo GameCube. Shrek Extra Large is a bad game, but at least it's meme material, if you can bear the gameplay. I mean, one mission in the game is to chase down a cow and fart in its face to calm it down. You fight giant eggs and furniture. The controls are awful, and the game's collision doesn't work as it should. And I'm not talking about that Shrek just passes into snow without affecting it. That looks cheap. But I mean, you pass through walls or hover above stuff. Also, the game doesn't tell you what you have to do, which is annoying, since the game is almost broken. And since it's almost broken, you don't know if it's a glitch or the game wants you to figure it out somehow by your own. What's worse is that the game was made by DICE. You know DICE. Mirror's Edge DICE, Battlefield DICE. This broken mess was made by DICE too. And it was released the same year they released Battlefield 1942. DICE is very capable. You know what great games they produced. This one isn't one of them. The game feels unfinished and untested. I mean, I can't imagine a game tester say that this game isn't broken. But on the good side, you can do this. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out. Shrek Super Party is a mini game collection. You have only two modes. You either play it like a board game similar to Mario Party or you choose Kermish and play the mini game you want. As for the mini games, I'm not getting into each one of them as I'm usually trying to make the videos brief. In short, some are decent, others are unresponsive and others are a total mess. Shrek 2 is a decent game, it's a beat em up, where you play with four different characters on screen but you control only one. You solve puzzles and do platforming, the specific Shrek humor is present in this game too and I like the variety in level designs. The game is very creative visually. The only problem the game has are in the programming department. The camera sometimes gets stuck or puts you into such weird angles that you can't judge a jump. The AI is stupid and just gets in the way or gets stuck into some stuff in the level or occasionally the other characters just stand there or are completely useless. Even if they are being attacked, they just stand there and when they attack, they sometimes attack just in the air, they don't even attack enemies, they just pretend to assist you. Shrek Super Slam is amazing, it's a fighting game, the environments are destructible, weapons drop frequently, the controls are great, by beating up opponents your characters fill their slam meter and when that meter is full you can unleash a slam attack that takes out opponents. But beware that opponents can eliminate you too by using the same slam attack. There are 20 playable characters and 16 battle stages, also there is a mega challenge mode, a board game where you still use the fighting mechanics but in different creative ways like preventing characters to get something or hold possession to something for a certain amount of time. And aside of the amazing combat, you also get some really well written jokes that make the game into a masterpiece. I recommend you the game, it's amazing. And if, even if you play it alone, it, it's amazing. Shrek Smash and Crash Racing is a classic kart racer. You get 12 characters and 12 tracks. 
I like the creative way the game developers made a vehicle for each character. As game modes, you get a tournament mode, where you get to play 4 different tournaments. That's it. No battle arenas or at least a time trial, nope, just 4 tournaments. But even so, even if as game modes you don't get that much to do, the game is still fun. It's not as deep as you will think, but still, what you get is creative. And it sure is a lot of fun to play, especially if you play it in co-op. Overall, the game is good. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.